So after two early mornings of having to be on the road before 7.30, <laughs> we're kind of exhausted today and just kind of hanging out and taking a low key day. Jimmy's over there reading. We're um, deciding that we really can't stay at this site because Ridgeway is beautiful as you can see. This is a nice open site. It's really great. It's a state park, but it has full hookup. So water, electric, and sewer. We have a whole review on this park um, if you want to watch it. It's a great park, but unfortunately, there's no internet, which you don't expect at a state park, but there you can't even get a signal. So we have AT&T Unlimited Sprint, and we have Verizon, and nothing can get a signal. We can barely make a phone call from here. So it's just, um, I know a lot of people say you want to disconnect when you're camping, and it shouldn't really matter, but the truth is, we're too young, we're not retired. Jeremy is the CEO of a company. He, he can't just be offline and unavailable for days on end. So we're going to have to move to another town today, but it will at least give us a chance to see some other places. And there's a couple towns in Colorado we still haven't been to, so we're hoping to maybe check out something new. A new one, and this is a special type of plant. Can you tell what kind of plant it is? Cardamom. Now look at this stain right here, where did that come from? Milkweed. Milkweed, right. And so what kind of uh, insect really likes milkweed? They come all butterflies. the way from Mexico. Right, what kind specifically? The pointy The monarch butterflies. Since we didn't have to check out until noon and we couldn't check into the new RV park quite yet, we decided to spend a little bit of time at Ridgeway State Park. You can see this isn't actually the reservoir, this is the pond that's in the upper part by the campground that we are located at, but there's a lot of people that are fishing here so you can easily fish here. There's some different spots where you can fish from the edge or across bridges or if you want to fly fish you can walk into the river and they have some boulders and stuff put along the way to make some good fly fishing spots as well. Beautiful Ridgeway State Park. Goodbye Ridgeway. If only you had internet, you would be perfection. Now we gotta head back on a 550 and head up to Montrose so we can get some connectivity tonight. We then headed over to the Montrose KOA and we have a full review that shows this KOA. If you wanna check this out, this is your closest KOA for Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park. We decided to head over to Black Canyon of the Gunnison since this could be a time we could head over with just the Jeep and not the full rig and it would give us a chance to see more things than we usually get to see at this park. Amazing. Black Canyon of the Gunnison. Black Canyon of the Gunnison has a number of points where you can just pull over with your vehicle and enjoy the views and seeing the amazing canyon that is below and drops so low down there. If you want to do the drive down to the base, you actually have to go to the East uh, Portal Road and take that down, but it's closed right now. So we weren't able to do that, but we did enjoy heading out to the other spots and places we haven't seen and checking out the different layers of the rocks. This uh, pegmatite is really cool because it makes this pink strip throughout the canyon, which already looks kind of blackish, hence the name Black Canyon. And some of it is even strewn along that makes it look like a dragon is flying. You can see it a little bit here, and then I'll show another video that shows it a little bit clearer, but plenty of spots to just enjoy seeing the amazing views and learning about the canyon with the interpretive signs. The state building in New York City. This is Taipei, Taiwan. And this is Dubai. This is the one we just saw with Mission Impossible, where they were scaling on the top of that building and they had the sandstorm. This building would just go barely above that wall.
This is our first time heading here during sunset, and this is actually Sunset Point, which is a great spot to park your car. You can get out and hike further closer to um, a point out on the ledge. And then I just set up my tripod for a while and did a bit of a time lapse here so you can kind of see what it looks like as the sun is setting. There's a wildfire that's going on in the distance, so you can see the reddish clouds off in the distance to the right there. And look for our Black Canyon of the Gunnison full video that gives you a bunch of different tips and tricks for visiting this park. Beautiful trees and you can see the dragon on the painted wall right there. You see the dragon shooting fire and then the rest of the canyon continues. And this is just part of it over here. Most of what other people see what wraps around the back there and continues on. We then headed back to the RV and got ready for an early morning so we could drive to Lake City and beat that highway closure on Highway 50 again.